Deutsche Flugsicherung is a government-owned company responsible for air traffic control in Germany. We have about 5,300 employees. Our headquarters is uh, in Langen, near Frankfurt. And we also operate uh, 19 control towers in Germany. Our IT challenges are providing these air traffic control services and processing flight plans and radar data. Software and air traffic control systems has to be 100% reliable. The job of an air traffic controller is uh, to guarantee a safe, orderly and expeditious flow of air traffic. Losing a system while you sit here and control aircrafts is not an option for us. You cannot afford to have an air traffic controller sit in front of a blank screen for longer than five seconds. We made several tests with different Linux vendors and we found that a well is the best choice for our company. DFS has taken the strategic decision to put all future air traffic control systems on Linux. The main benefit is that it's an open source operating system and we can modify things and we have the possibility to adapt the operating system to our needs. Everything you see in this room basically is, is uh, running Linux, uh, in our case SUSE Linux. And uh, all air traffic control systems uh, being deployed in the future will be based on SUSE Linux. What you see here is our tower information system, which provides the air traffic controllers at the towers with weather, runway information and airport information. It's a cluster system running heartbeat on SUSE Linux 10. The most important is if you look at the empty cabinets, uh, those cabinets should actually be filled with uh, real hardware, but we use Xen now instead of the real hardware, and thereby we reduce, of course, our hardware cost and uh, we are more flexible. SUSE Linux Enterprise Server reduced our software costs and maintenance costs by thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of euros per year. SUSE Linux is uh, our strategic platform for our operational air traffic control systems. And we enjoyed working with Novell and we are looking forward to work together with Novell in the future.